Good morning. So um, I was watching a Jordan Peterson um, lecture. One of the most brilliant minds I've ever had the pleasure of hearing speak. And all of his, um, all the people that he interviews are also brilliant, genius. Anyway, him and the gentleman he was interviewing, I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to get his name, but um, that gentleman that he was interviewing brought up something called brutalist architecture. Brutalist architecture is a edifice, a, a, a architectural design that bears no fruit, architectural fruit, meaning they build it and leave it um, at its bare minimum. There is no decorative connotation to it. It's just the foundation. That's it. And it's supposed to signify something, okay? Now, from what I've, I've gathered through the Jordan Peterson lecture, what it gathers is nothingness, bare bones, the skeleton, okay, of that of that um, architectural construct, right? And to me, what it embodies is the same thing that atheism embodies, especially from what I gather again from what uh, JP's um, the gentleman JP was interviewing, how he articulated it. Same thing again, atheism articulates or tries to. Uh, embed in the psyche of the collective consciousness, which is your existence was an accident, okay? On a, Again, all on a macro scale. Maybe not you personally, individually, but on a macro scale, atheism tries to propagate this message to mankind. Your existence was an accident, Okay. There is no profound purpose behind your birth, even if you'd like to think so. You're going to live and you're going to die. And when you die, that's it. Worm food. There's nothing else after this. You will no longer exist. That's what atheism, in a politically correct, nice way, tries to instill, again, in the mind of collective consciousness. They call it truth. I call it conditioning. Now imagine if a mother or a father perpetuated the same message to their child. I'm sorry, little Timmy. I'm sorry, little Billy. I'm sorry, little Lisa or Kate or whatever. But your birth was an accident. Your existence is an accident. There was, there was nothing profound or wonderful or divine about your birth. Me and your mom didn't uh, plan this. You weren't an intentional construct, right? Existential construct, one of my favorite words because I'm very limited in my vocabulary. You were an accident. You were a fuck session that turned out to be a baby. That's it. Not in so many words, but you get my drift, right? And guess what? You're going to live, and you're going to die, and when you die, there's nothing else after that, and you will no longer exist, and that's the truth, no matter how it makes you feel, little Joe, little Sam, little Michelle, whatever. What do you think that would do to that child's mind, especially as it grew into an adult? And was conditioned into believing that as a truth. What do you think that would do to that child? I think that would destroy that child and destroy that adult. Guess what? That's what atheism and the natural science community that perpetuates atheism is trying to do to humanity. Okay? By propagating and pushing forth that same message and that same agenda and that same platform. Think about it. I know I'm a schmucky kid from Brooklyn. Sometimes I make sense.